All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, let's see. Uh, so good, day, good, good times, good times. Uh, things are going exactly as I predicted yesterday. So I mean, once you uh, get right with God, and you know, I guess it also helps that uh, you uh, admit that you have a money problem, as I did in my case, and then put God above money. Uh, then you actually start seeing, as Rouge V would say. Right. So I predicted this yesterday. It's exactly happening, exactly as I foretold. Uh, it's very easy. It's very nice. Um, let's see. This thing is completely wrong. What's going on here? Here we go. Yeah. I don't know why this thing's not updating properly. All right. Uh, yeah, well, that's a pretty steep drop for sure. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's do five years. Um, let's see. Can I actually zoom this out more? Oh, yes, I can. Ah, perfect. Yeah, that's good. Now we can get some good perspective on what's going on. So as a news article pointed out yesterday, it was obviously they're trying to hurt Trump, but it is factually correct. Uh, all the gains from the stock market since Trump took office are now wiped out. Uh, with the Dow up 856 points, though, that's still not great. Uh, so basically, uh, the reason why I knew that this was going to go back up is because we, um, <clears throat> if you look closely over here, my camera's not covering good, so it goes down. You notice it goes up a little bit. You see that little spike, and then it goes back down again, and then now today it's going back up a little bit. Basically, it's going like this, right? You know, it's, fr it's fractal in nature because... Everyone that's shorting the market now has to buy, uh, has to close their short position, so they have to buy. So that's why it goes up. Then it continues to go back down afterwards as people short even more. So basically, we call it a dead cat bounce, right? This is one of the rare times, again, that I use technical analysis uh, terminology, uh, but that's exactly what it is. Uh, though in this case, I wouldn't call it technical analysis. I still look at it from a fundamental perspective because overall, the markets are still pretty... Uh, bearish slash uh, correction territory because again the big variable is coronavirus and so far I haven't really seen anything too crazy yet um, so let's see there is no crying uh, in baseball all right so Tom Hanks seems to be in good spirits uh, here's what the US coronavirus in Seattle learned when she was sick so I guess she's okay now Corona Live updates US moves to speed testing as fight against virus intensifies. This is the most important part, uh, is the testing. That's really what we need. If we have testing, then I can probably reasonably say uh, the bottom of this correction should be near. Uh, and then I don't have to worry as much about a bear market. Because again, right before this happened, everyone wanted to buy up shit. So, Corona Live US testing, Bill Barr, uh, oh shit. Oh, wait, I thought they said Bill Barr and Ivanka Trump was positive. Okay, so an Australian official who met with Bill Barr and Ivanka Trump have, have tested positive. The U.S. and or in America, schools will close in at least six states. I'm not sure if New York's one of them yet. Uh, they should, though. Stocks on Wall Street rebounded from their worst day in 30 years. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, what, that's it? Oh. Um, let's see. Okay, historic. Uh, Trump has the steps to speed up testing. Um, okay, this is what we really care about. Oh, wait, this is the thing, right? Uh, FDA, blah, blah, blah. I really don't want to read this whole thing. Okay, I don't need a history lesson on the markets. Okay, they're going to speed up coronavirus testing. Uh, there's a new emergency hotline for private labs and new partnerships with coverage developing tests that can detect the virus within an hour. Okay, good, because the rest of the world already, like Taiwan already has a test that can check if you have coronavirus within four hours, all right? And I mean, they didn't say anything about, uh, about how cheap it is, but they said everyone has it, so I assume it's relatively cheap. You know, within the HHS, that does bottle mint research will over a million dollars to companies, you know, these people. Speed up development, the test development announced on Friday morning. The FDA said the 24 hour holiday will be created to help the private sector act allies authorize new tests and process the ones already deployed. Uh, also make drastic changes. Okay, this is what we are looking for. So HHS is making drastic changes to the team overseeing the distribution of tests to public private labs 
installing Admiral Brett Garor, the Assistant Secretary of the Agency, to the efforts. <clears throat> I always find it interesting that the people who are in charge of the health, like the actual medical stuff, all tend to be naval officers. I find that very interesting. At least in my game, I'm going to have something like that, right? The Jesse Lee Peterson character. He's going to be like a vice admiral, essentially. All right. Well, not essentially he is. Uh, and then he'll be like, you know, all this medical stuff. Robert Redfield. I think that's no relation to the famous guy that also is named Robert Redfield. The director of the CDC the, 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 must now report to Admiral Garor, said Alex Azar. Ah, so finally, some asshole. So the idiots in the CDC will have to now report to somebody, right? Because the CDC is just basically completely worthless. Who is there any case of top health, uh, top of tension among the top health officials? Trump is in Australia catch up demand nationally at public health labs. Yeah, I mean, this is ultimately on Trump's uh, watch, and I'm glad he's finally doing the right thing. So this is very good. So this is very good. So that basically means Trump has finally figured out, if I don't fix this coronavirus shit, then everything's over, all right? The, the whole market thing doesn't even matter. Stocks we got fried from their worst day. Biden was also in the remote year. We made it as much as 10%, blah, 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 blah. All those moves were signals that investors felt a touch better about the elephant kind of than he did a day ago. But financial have been nothing if inconsistent the past three weeks. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, had a result of what I do on the packing and for workers and failure to vote on. Okay. So I had a positive view from market chair guys on Friday that it would not put any limit on fiscal stimulus and that it would take on debt if needed to bolster its economy. Yeah, Germany is already pretty rich, so. Uh, Trump has still not been tested for coronavirus. Uh, despite kind of kind of with a person who only days later tested positive, Justin Trudeau is self isolated after his wife tested positive. Uh, I mean, supposedly Trump is actually pretty paranoid about like germs and stuff. So I don't know. Uh, okay, close has ground to a halt. Uh, let's see. I made Doctor Fake choice on the only days ago. Who lives and who dies? Yeah, Italy is actually strapped. I tweeted about this yesterday, but I don't want to go through my thing. Italy uh, is actually so strapped in respirators and other medical equipment. They're now actually, uh, not considering, but they're actually pulling old people off to give the medical care to the younger people. Uh, supposedly that's called something in medical care, but um, yeah. And they're also prioritizing people with the highest chance of survival uh so yeah uh that's uh, that's what happens uh unfortunately it sounds like italy does actually deserve what they get because apparently they were actually importing a lot of chinese nationals and they're the one and they had and they were directly from wuhan so because of that that's why they got the virus and then now all hell is breaking loose uh i forgot what niche told me but he said that like uh the reason why germany has no medical problems compared to italy is because germany has everything set in place systems wise uh but italy for some reason doesn't have that i forgot the re i forgot what he said but uh italy really dropped the ball um what was it what was the right wing called the salvini party uh like laguda like matteo salvini twitter like if salvini really wants to become prime minister again he should be able i mean i can't read italian so uh can you trans where's the, here translate the tweet donate blood has reduced blood reserve essential uh if I, oh, I click the appeal of all the wait a minute so okay it's like so what salvini should be doing is yes he'll have he should hammer the borders he should hammer the fact that italy is not their own country and they rely on foreigners right and number two he should also say you know despite all the open borders and the overloaded uh, and um you know the progressive agenda look at look at how they run the governments in common now now they can't even take care of everybody i'm hoping he does something like that so let's see if you exist do something for italy yeah because right now italy is completely screwed uh i don't see his tweets saying okay the only okay i was to bring down sign of our drive i uh in italy i lost 68 billion euros of savings and sacrifices we'll yeah, so Matteo Salvini is do basically doing what Donald Trump is doing, uh, or at least was doing. It, the, you, nobody cares about the markets. People think about the fucking uh, people. <sighs> it's a real shame. So, see, this is the problem with conservatives, right? I'm, I don't have this problem, right? But apparently I'm, one, I'm an extremely rare breed.
In fact, I'm probably unique, actually. Because I don't know any other conservative that has the empathy level that I have. All right? He has no empathy. So now he's just thinking money will solve all his problems. All right? So, A, he's got to... It's like... like Now that I say that, now I realize... Is he really putting God above money? <laughs> right? Trump at least does put God above money in our stuff. Even though I was kind of suspicious of it because of the way he was behaving. But now he realizes... You know what? This is not right. You know, you know what? I just have to let it go. I have to let it go, listen to God, and just, you know, speed up testing and all that stuff. Because, you know, as Trump knows, he knows he's going to get fucked if he doesn't do something. Uh, okay, good. So Trump is now back up. So it's even, even. All right. Trump is supposed to be way ahead of Joe Biden. Uh, so again, once so once the system is in place, Trump gets the testing, all that stuff done uh okay all right we're good all right so all right we don't need to know about that all right so the good news is trump is improving his testing and he's actually taking uh serious action on it so that's the most important thing so that does mean that uh this should remain a correction it should not become a bear market uh bitcoin searches for this week are still 14 i guess it's still adjusting data that's kind of interesting uh, let's see, what effect does this have on crypto? Because uh, I don't remember what I said yesterday. I just remember it was a bloodbath. Uh, so it looks like it went down and then back up a bit. So Bitcoin's still down somewhat. 57.35 for Bitcoin. Dominance is at 63.9%. 24 hour volume is at pretty much an all time high since I started doing these videos. 255.3 billion. 254. Wow, that's a lot. I see some down. Okay, so people are actually buying up. It's just so that it's just so happens to be that yesterday was so bad that <laughs> yeah, it's basically following exactly the correlation pattern as the stock markets. So whenever people say, "Oh, you know, cryptocurrency is a great hedge against the equity markets," yeah, that's not the case. You can clearly see it's following exactly everybody else, just like gold. That's why ultimately it's all bullshit, right? There is no hedge, right? There is no hedge, right? People will just do whatever the hell they want because they're scared. There is no logic to it. All right. Yesterday, everybody was just dumping because they were panicking and wanted cash. Well, now everyone's you feeling you for because, you know, again, Satan's their daddy. So it's, you know, they're scared, then they feel good, then they're scared, then they feel good. All right. When they're scared, they sell and they dump. When they feel good, they buy and they buy and they buy. That's why most of our globalist system is designed around keeping people uh, happy and pleased. Because A, it's easier to control people that way. And number two, it's very the easiest way to control someone is when they feel good about the situation. All right? If things are bad, well, guess what? You ain't going to control them. All right? uh, even now, uh, you know, people are just like, I don't give a shit. Right? You know, it's like, you know, I don't want to die from coronavirus. And that's all they could think about. Right? You know, now they're canceling gay pride parades and like large gatherings and all the stuff that actually promotes... Uh, the globalist agenda, right? Well, that's the other, that's the other angle too. They can't have those because of the stupid coronavirus. So yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, if trends continue, it should continue to go down. But I'm probably gonna start looking into buying sometime next week because now that the fundamentals are now in place, basically by Trump to actually get on top of the stupid coronavirus, it should at least go away. Uh, so the only way we, uh, things could get worse is if we're all infected, essentially, and then like a lot of us die from it. Like, like that's literally the only thing that could take us out. And considering that we're not even anywhere near that stage yet, right? And China was, you know, I mean, even if China, I mean, China is probably lying, but even with lying, uh, you know, it's not really that bad percentage-wise, right? So, I mean, they're already, they're, I mean, I already see, I already see Twitter videos say that they're closing down the temporary hospitals in China because they don't need they don't need them anymore. So uh, yeah, so things are getting things are already getting better in China because because the because the way propaganda well done propaganda works is yes there are lies but eighty percent of the time you tell the truth so that way you can't tell the difference right and you can't attack the truth it's like a, it's basically exploitation of the truth. That's why propaganda works and is so dangerous. So, yeah. So anyway, uh, Litecoin has rebounded back to 37.70. Uh, it's now up 12%. Hmm. I guess yesterday could have been a good time to buy. Because who knows? This could be the end of the correction, actually. I mean, it did technically go down basically 33%. 
Uh, but I really don't want to buy today either. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I could always just bring back my money or something. I don't know. Litecoin at 37.70. I mean, I already put the money in my crypto account, so I don't know. I have to take a look. Uh, Dog coin is at two sixteen million market cap. That's right, not bad. Uh, Steam is up or down to thirteen point eight six percent. Yeah, now this one's going to be a little hard, right? This could be a little hard. Uh, okay, let's take a look. Uh, See, the thing is, I'm making this decision. See, the problem is, I'm making this decision on a Friday, so the, these markets will not be. Most markets will not be open, obviously, because it's Saturday and Sunday. And then. Uh, hmm. Uh, okay. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm actually thinking about Escape from Tarkov, too. Like, I'm, like, so tilted from yesterday, but I still want to keep playing because I really want to get better. Because they actually made the game... Like, they buffed Endurance and Hatchling runs, but they nerfed uh, high-end uh, high end players uh, because of the new weight system. And they adjusted it to be more tolerable. But, you know, there's a real possibility that you could go in with your gear and get most of it back because it's going to be too heavy and it doesn't it's not worth a lot of money. So it's better to actually just dump your gear. Uh, Minution, let's see. Affecting online food delivery. One of our scales down shareholder meeting. Uh, I don't really see anything here. Okay, so let's see. M -M -M -R -R -L. Uh, what? Holy shit, wait. It went down that much yesterday? Holy shit. Oh, so what is AMZA then? I might, I actually might need to log in my stock market account right now. Uh, it's up six cents. Uh, this is a tough decision. I might just have to buy now, and then if it continues to go down, then I'll do one final. Because I only put in fifteen hundred dollars in my crypto and my uh, stock market account, so that's three thousand dollars. If it continues to bottom out, because I already did the, just watch my video from yesterday. Uh, where's this one? Clown World, Bitcoin Clown number 367. I actually did the tech, I already did the technical analysis, basically the correction. Because everyone keeps calling it a bear market, and that's actually fake news terrorism. It's a correction. It has the potential to become a bear market, but as we just now read, Trump is actually doing the, he's taking coronavirus seriously, right? He's actually shuffling a lot of people around, appointed a military uh, admiral that is obviously an expert in medical shit. Uh, to oversee the mass production of testing in America. So that's the problem we have. We cannot test anyone, right? But we're getting better at it. So that's what matters, right? We, we solve the problem. Uh, all right, I'm gonna actually log into my stock market account. So, uh, all right, that's what I'm gonna do. So basically it's already down 33%. That's a correction. The, uh, the most extreme correction is 66%. That's what I'm waiting for. And but we're not gonna know that till next week. So I think the game plan, all right, I'm going to log in now because I didn't actually know it was that cheap. I thought it was still going to be like $7. Like, uh, I'm going to buy up, I'm going to buy, oh my God, hold on. Because right now this, because if you don't know, this thing pays uh, like around, see it pays every month technically, but uh, every three months when you get the actual dividend, it pays around... Uh, God, do we have to go uh, UBS? Let's see, UBS. Uh, I mean, this year is not, a, it's only three months. So, all right, so as a current annualized yield of 43%. So, or right, here you go, 56 cents, then 3.3 cents, and 5.6 cents. If we look at 2019, you can see how much money this thing was pumping out. Oh, wow. 13.33 cents, and then before it's 43.86. Oh, actually, that's probably because they're moving the money around. So basically, you're getting around 50 to 60 cents on average every three months, and then every month you get anywhere from like three to six cents uh, dividend per share. So yeah, the 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 yield on this stock is like be, be beyond insane. So I, I, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and just buy. All right, God's telling me to buy because. You know something is good when you instantly know what to do. There's no hesitation, 
right? It's it's somewhat rare, but it does happen quite often. And the reason why that happens is because you're patient, and that's exactly how I play this game. You want to be you want to have money like me? That's what you do. You want to be an idiot and a loser? Then don't do what I do. Um, but if I were you, I wouldn't do that. All right, so uh, let me see. I want to buy 62 shares of AMZA. So you can't see because I'm on Chrome. So obviously you can't see because I don't want to show you my personal shit. So 62 times 146. How much money is this? Let's trade this. I'll buy uh, 62 shares. So I could do five covered calls. We'll do a market. Uh, how much is this going to cost me? Uh, ninety six dollars and nine cents. Uh, estimated contract fee or commissions? Oh, so they brought back the commissions. These assholes—they were supposed to be commission free. Well, I guess maybe I want to do uh, Robin Hood now. But I mean, this particular bank is also supposedly uh, uh, Bitcoin friendly too. So I probably want to be using that. Though I have to admit, I mean, does Robin Hood even have a bank? Robin Hood Banking Bank. Hmm. Excuse me. Hmm. So Robin Hood does have banking. Uh, well, they don't do bank accounts. Uh, they have cash management and crypto. <clears throat> Buy and sell these crypto twenty four seven with commission free. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Oh, I guess I won't be able to get rid of the, uh, okay, um, I don't know, do I have to spend a hundred dollars? That only brings, so that gives me only fourteen hundred dollars. Let me see, uh, but five, it's going to take me about 20 months to get my money back for AMZA in terms of covered calls. Uh, you know what, I'm already doing covered calls, so yeah, I'll, I'll just, I'll just buy the stupid thing. All right, let me just do this. My order has been submitted. Let's do another one. All right. So now I should have 500 shares of AMZA. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, my daily gains for today is 2,224 in terms of unrealized profit, which doesn't mean anything. Uh, my overall, well, actually, I don't want to give away my number, but it's a very large negative total gain slash loss percentage because of the <laughs> correction. All right, so my game plan, see, because I don't know, see, the fundamentals are now shifting, right? Because, again, Trump's actually doing what he's supposed to. So he's finally, you know, getting it through his damn thick skull. Uh, right now, it's 615 to 620 uh, asking price. So this is still pretty good. So I'm just going to buy out all these shares. Because uh, I am never going to get this MMR, MRRL for this cheap. Um so if you're so if you were following my videos, you should already be funding your accounts already, and then also going in to buy. If you're also going to buy this stock that I'm buying, because this is the one I usually tell people to buy. Um, dividends are good. It's not going to expire till the year 2042. I actually don't know what's going to happen in the remaining five to ten years, because this one's a little bit different from a bond, where you get back your original principal, which in this case would be twenty five dollars a share. I'm not sure if this thing does that, because I could because I tried reading the prospectus and. It, like, like every perspective, it makes no sense. So, uh, I, I, I don't know. So, I could buy 225 shares. Wow, I could buy a shit ton of shares for this because I have 1407 left. Okay, so there's no commission for this. For some reason, there was a commission at AMZA buy. Uh, I guess it's because, oh, you know why? Because it's now considered a penny or over the counter stock. That's probably why. Yeah, that's like a $5 fee, man. That's essentially an extra share of MMRL. Uh oh, here it is. Your account does not have sufficient funds. I am oh okay. So I gotta buy two. How about two hundred twenty six shares of this? Uh, normally I don't do this on stream, but I kind of have to. Oh no, I'm sh I'm short literally pennies to buy an extra share. Let me see. Oh, I'm not. I am literally fourteen cents below. But oh, nice. I get in a four. I have 14 cents left in my account. Yes, yes. Ah, uh, Vax funds available to trade, 4.59, what? Oh, okay. All right, well now I have $4.59 left in my, uh, my account. 
All right, so I executed at six dollars and eighteen six six dollars and eighteen point sixteen dollars and eighteen point oh four cents. Uh, if that makes any sense. Hey, that rhymes. Uh, let's see. Okay, very good. All right, so now I have five hundred. Uh, do I want to take a? Can, uh, I don't know why I take a risk to do covered calls right now on this. Uh, well, it's one. No, it's going to be pretty dangerous. But let me see. What can I get for this? Uh, option view. Oh man, I, I totally botched the way that I did this. Let's see. Oh, I think. Oh, wait a minute. I think I still have my active options from before. Hold on. Because I already did covered calls on my AMZA stock. I sold uh, four contracts for like twenty dollars minus like three bucks for uh, commission. Uh, option view. Here we go. Uh, quantity delta position totals. I don't seem. To, oh, okay. I don't seem to have any. All right. Well. Uh, all right. Please select a market strategy. Oh, uh, all right, let's do a chain. Uh, AMZA stock, uh, in seven days, I can sell something for 10 to 15 bucks. That's kind of dangerous, though. I don't know if I want to do, be doing that. There's also no volume. Uh, at $3, it's 15 cents. So I could probably do 5 cents at $3. I could maybe, I don't know, if I'm wrong about this, and then this is the end of the correction, then things start skyrocketing. I'm, I'm, I'm going to actually get fucked. Um, you know what? I'm gonna hold off on it. All right. Uh, okay. Now I have to go buy a uh, Litecoin. <laughs> All right. So, I, so normally I so normally I don't, but right now I'm also buying Litecoin. So, because I've been waiting a long time for this, so I'm I'm going to uh, let's see, get my two two factor authentication in here. Uh, remember this device? Yes. It's very annoying that I have to constantly do this. Uh, yeah, it would have been nice to buy Litecoin yesterday, though, all right? But, I mean, that's the thing. I even knew this was going to happen, but, all right. Uh, let's see. But that's all right. You know, we, it is what it is. I mean, wow, $25.54. But, you know, whatever. Uh, buy Litecoin, yes. Uh, available American dollars, all of it. Oh, uh, wow. I could buy about 39 Litecoin. Okay. That's actually pretty nice. Um, oh, man. That's a, that's, yeah, that fee is not overly bad. Okay. Uh, I believe I now have Litecoin, right? Yes, the Litecoin is in my thing. All right, I have nothing else. Um, okay, now I've got to transfer this to a secure wallet. So I'm going to do that real quick. Um, all right. Uh, let's use this address. Let's double check. All right, very good. All right, I'm almost done, guys. I just got to make sure I get this done because this is how I actually make my money. So I obviously take it seriously. But uh, yeah, I ha I bought 38 Litecoin, essentially, after fees, which is still uh, still pretty decent. Um, okay, request. Okay. And then approve. Uh, approve. The action approve. Okay, clear. <clears throat> All right. Once once it's approved, then I can go back. All right. Uh, I believe we are good. We are Tamaguchi here. I believe. Okay. All right. All right, I think uh, I think we're good. All right, so we can move on. So uh, I just bought. I spent all my money. So my fifteen hundred dollars bought uh, thirty eight Litecoin after fees. Obviously, yours is going to be different, right? <clears throat> but the point is, I bought. 
Uh, I bought MRRL. I also bought a little extra AMZA stock because uh, not, not Amazon, you idiots. I want AMZA, this one. Uh, all, and the only reason why I bought this was because now I have an even 500 shares of this stock. So now I can do five covered calls instead of four every month. So that, that's why I bought it. Uh, otherwise, it's a high risk stock. Like I don't even, I don't even want it. So I kind of wish I didn't buy it, but I'm already committed. So <clears throat> I might as well try to just extract as much income as I can so I can get back my money <clears throat> and start making. <clears throat> God, I'm losing my voice. So I can start getting back, uh, you know, uh, my money and then make a profit from it. Right. Because basically, I think in terms of cash flow producing assets, that's how you do it. So now I now I bought this at six bucks when this thing goes back to twelve to fifteen dollars when all this chaos is over, yeah I'm gonna make a lot of money off of this. Plus I'm gonna get the sexy 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 uh, dividends, right? I mean this thing's not correct, but right now the annualized return is forty three dollars or forty three. I wish it was uh, forty three percent. So it's uh, you're basically getting cryptocurrency like returns on an actual stock, like that's. Like you're, you're like this is essentially free money, so very good, very good. I am very happy with my purchases. I am very very happy. Uh, will you just okay? All right. So now we can move on. So basically, we're at the thirty three percent correction territory. That's usually the first hurdle. Uh, and it's a Friday. And it's the weekend. So people are going to be calming down. They're going to be relaxing. They're going to be feeling good because it's the weekend and they're ending on a very high note. Yeah, so there's a lot of crap uh, in play. Um, now, with that being said, if things do continue to get worse market-wise, we'll find out next week. You know, it'll be obvious, and then we're gonna I'm gonna redo the calculations, but the 66% correction should be around 9,600 to 10,000 for the Dow, and then the corresponding number for the S&P 500. At that point, that's probably when I'm gonna do my last round of buying. Uh, I might even put in two thousand dollars a piece. Uh, this time around, which is a lot of money, right? Because I spent three thousand total. Then I'm now going to add another four grand on top of that. Uh, so it's a total of seven thousand dollars that uh, that I'm spending, right? But I mean, fire sale prices, man. When when uh, when boar's head ham is like a dollar a pound, what do you do? Yeah, you you buy everything, right? So because I know some, because I know, because I have some family members that just love boar's head. So I mean, they're a good brand, but they're so expensive. And that's exactly what the markets, stock markets are. It's expensive, right? You know, like you do get what you pay for most of the time. So, you know, if you get something that's normally 10 bucks for a dollar, you know, you're going to stock up, all right? Uh, JFC coins at six to seven. Uh, right now, uh, because the markets are going up, the exotic cryptos here will be going down a little bit, but it's already been beaten pretty badly. So, you know, JFC coins doing very well. Uh, 404 is also holding steady, 5 to 6. It actually literally has not budged from this. So, all right, that's the new price for now. Uh, 2 by 2 has gotten a lot stronger. It's at 65 to 75. Uh, 2 by 2 coin actually benefits pretty well when the markets are up too. So that means the market still likes, still considers 2 by 2 coin uh, high quality. Doggy coins at 52, 10 to 60, 6,700 Satoshis of a dog coin, but the volume's, you know, tapered off. But still doing all right. It's definitely better than before when I was down to, like, what, 4,000-something? So, hey, you know, I'll take what I can get. Uh, and to be honest, we already did the analysis, so I don't really care about uh, any of this stuff. Uh, crypto developer says he has coronavirus. Um, of course, it's a Chinese man who uh, attended Ethereum. Okay, Bitcoin fire sale on their way. Crypto now, this YouTube star plans to go all in on the crash. Uh, yeah, this is actually pretty good. Uh, I did, I'm not going all in, but I definitely put my money where my mouth is. In fact, I'm probably going to put a screenshot up where I said I bought, you know, uh, so I'll take a look. I'll just have to hide uh, a lot of my details. Top crypto uh, plunge, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so people are already buying, so... Yeah, and again, Trump, and we're going to end it on Trump, uh, Trump Twitter. All right, it's not, all right, so Trump's back to bitching about money again. Well, I mean, I, I, I'm okay with, let me see, what has he said? <clears throat> the Fed must finally lower the Fed rate of something compared to the compare of central banks. Street Palm Group are playing us and has decided at a physiological change. 
Don't uh, always stimulate. Uh, that's pretty funny. You want to get money into the hands of people quickly and efficiently let them have full money they earn, approve a payroll tax at the end of the year. This is actually pretty good. This is actually important because people are getting hurt. They're actually getting hurt very badly. Uh, then you do something that is really meaningful. Only that will make a big difference. Uh, you have no ground sound political or attacking Trump. Uh, I don't really care about that. Decades CDC looked at study testing said but did nothing about it. It'll always be an American and slow for a large scale panel, but panel would never happen. They hoped President Obama changed that only complicated things further. Uh, this is actually very important. This is also good because the CDC is to blame, and I was like getting annoyed with why Trump wasn't blaming because these guys are fucking retarded, you know? Like they are responsible for the fact that we cannot test anyone. So we're all gonna possibly die because of the CDC's incompetence. So this is very good by Trump. The response, and of course he's blaming it on Obama. So as long as it's mostly true, this is actually correct. The response, and it probably is. Because remember, like, Obama inherited this. He didn't change anything, so he bears blame, right? He had eight years to change things. And then Obama inherited from George Bush, who apparently also didn't do anything, so he inherits the blame. So now Trump has to deal with it. So and on and on. You know, the buck's got to stop with the president at some points. And Trump is now doing it correctly. Because even the New York Times said he's actually accelerating testing now. So the response to swine flu was a full scale disaster. Thousands died and nothing meaningful done to fix the testing problem until now. The change has been made and testing will soon happen on a very large scale basis. All red tape has been cut, ready to go. Perfect. All right. He, all right. There will Bill. Okay. And then now the, the Democrats are actually screwing us over on uh, testing. They're actually not approving the Republican Party's uh, bill to. Uh, create more respirators and masks and all this stuff. It's not controversial. It's going to kind of pass it today, but Democrats and blah, blah, blah. I don't know why this doesn't really have a whole lot of retweets. Um, I guess I'll throw a like. Uh, then here's the same thing. And it has bipartisan support with the lesbian, uh, decent-looking uh, Democrat senator, senator from Arizona. She's actually kind of, like, right-wing-ish, right? But... You know, uh, well, like, you know, uh, Satan's almost everyone's daddy. So, all right. So this is actually making it look pretty good. And this came out. Yeah, this came out today. There's no way in hell I would have been able to know this yesterday. I just knew it was dead cat bounce. Had he tweeted this yesterday while I was doing my video, I would have, I would have gone into the market and bought so I could get a little more like point, a little bit more MRRL. Uh, but you know what? I, I, I did, I got, I got what I wanted. So, um, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, the side I'm going to be looking for next week. Oh, actually, uh, let's go back to Trump Twitter. Okay. Uh, let's see. Trump Twitter. Federal Reserve must find a lawyer federated something comparable to... We need a... Hey, this one's a little hard, but... Uh... See, stay on ground. Actually, you know what? I need to do something here. How do I clear the browsing history of this? Uh, clear browsing data. All right. Uh, browsing history, time range, all time. Uh, don't clear the cookies because I want to stay logged in into Twitter and we'll clear everything. Yeah. I just realized that uh, I might need to, you know, because remember, I don't do political stuff anymore, so I kind of have to, you know, purge all the other stuff. I might have to uh, clean it, but I'm just going to leave it. I don't really care. Uh, my excuse is just going to be, oh, yeah, I get my information from a, a lot of websites, all right, because I need to have my finger on the pulse, and that's just what I'm going to say. Uh, you know, I don't agree with everything, what the site says, especially when they uh, slam Chinese people, but I mean, I kind of need to know if, you know, if someone's going to like kill me and they're reading these radical sites, I kind of need to know ahead of time so I can prepare, right? And hey, you know, he has a right to free speech, like like all of us, so I, why do you hate free speech? You know, that's what I'm going to say, and just tell them to go fuck themselves. Uh, let's see, so yes, yeah, so now I should not have this problem. Yes, okay, all right, so I've, I've, cleared, the, I've cleared the browsing history. Um, all red tape has been cut. Yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just do this. All right. Well, it's not it's not very picture friendly, but this is pretty much the most important thing. He is testing. He is testing. Uh, actually, is the New York Times article that we were reading about 
Current live on yes, moves a sweet test that I should fight against. Uh, I'm gonna have to. Ah, shit. Uh, this is a pretty shitty picture, though. All right. Yeah, we're 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 just not gonna use this. All right. We'll just we'll just stick with this. If you <coughs> if you like what you saw, read or heard. Hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash uh, JFC Radio. I completely almost botched the whole thing. Uh, make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page, and then uh, yeah, let's try to go to this channel. So uh, I'm honestly done for the day. I'm not quite hungry yet, so that's actually pretty impressive. Uh, I think today I'm supposed to actually be lifting weights, so uh, yeah. Oh well, all right. It is what it is. So I'm gonna play some Tarkov too, cause like, uh, cause I actually started doing the Playmaker tutorials, so it's actually pretty good. Um, so pretty much I'll have a game out. I need some prototype working. Finally, it'll be single player. And I've decided I'm just gonna build the game out, so I can learn my way around Playmaker. And then the hard part's gonna be converting all the client side logic and shifting it, shifting it. Mm. Excuse me, shifting that to. Uh, as or play fed so i'm trying to figure out how i want to do it so i think maybe what i could potentially do is not quite have the photon pun function well the photon it's going to be hard because i also have to convert like when you fire bullets from your gun you're gonna have to photon pun that so because technically as or play fed can do the same thing but they don't have the documentation out yet so and I'd much rather have as or play fat because I think their message rate limiter uh, limit is so much better than photons. So we'll, we'll have to see. Anyway, enjoy the stream at night. Uh, it's only 10.30. No wonder I'm not hungry. So that's good. So yeah, I'm going to do my stuff, play some games, uh, get ready to do more Playmaker stuff, and then start prototyping the game. And then, uh, yeah, uh, I bought. So if you want to buy, I guess buy now. But have, but know that we're not sure if there's going to be the an additional 33 percent uh correction downward so there might be one last thing but i don't actually know because trump is actually changing the fundamentals for the better now so that might uh and then of course don't forget the economic stimulus you got the fed lowering the rate half a percent so you have all of that ready to go because rich people are also already ready to use all that free money and start buying up shit too so this might actually be the end of the correction uh, but again, we don't know. So I'm just going to just buy now, right? Whatever it is you want to buy, right? Just buy now. I bought crypto. I bought MRRL because that's my situation. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. And, you know, this is finally the end of all the chaos. Thank God, because I need more money. Uh, but, oh, well. Anyway, we'll see what happens next week. I have no idea what's going to happen next week. So, you know, enjoy the rest of your, uh, well, enjoy the rest of your weekend, but I'll see you all t in tomorrow's video. Thanks. Judson Chad, JMC, JFC coin. Ah, let's refresh you. Uh, nothing here. Uh, 404 coin. No real new views here. And uh, yeah, thank God. As much as I like to criticize Trump, I also praise him when he does the right thing. And he's totally going on the offensive. So I think Trump's re-election chances should eventually reflect that, uh, reflect an increase uh, sooner or later. Even if coronavirus gets worse. Uh, as long, again, as Trump actually delivers on the testing. We need more testing. And he clearly knows that. He's obviously taking the steps. So it's just a race against time. And again, he's finally called out the CDC. I really don't understand why he took it took him so long to do this. Uh, but I'm glad he's doing it. And we're finally, you know, going to, you know, we're finally not going to become like Italy. Because in Italy, it's over. But we don't have to be Italy. So, and we're, and we're not going to, we're, we're not going to let that happen. So, Good on Trump. Good on Trump. Good on the markets. You know, I'm happy. I'm really, I'm actually pretty happy. Like, uh, I got MMRL for so cheap. It's like, it's, I literally just bought, just, I just got free money. That's what I got. We all like welfare, right? And we like free money. Well, that's what I got. 